So in just under two weeks, thousands of South Africans will gather in the Mother City for the 2017 edition of the Cape Town Marathon. Well, some of the runners are going to be going out there for the win. Others will just want to cross the finish line. But our next two incredible guests will be taking on the 42-kilometer route with the goal of raising only 2 million rand for the Make a Difference Leadership Foundation, representing Mad to Run its team, its former Springbok captain, Francois Pinar, and former Proteus captain, Graham Smith. Gentlemen, Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Um, listening to the two of you catch up, I thought captains just got together every weekend to have a captain's <laughs> breakfast or something. But um, <clears throat> an awesome opportunity to connect with old friends. Francois, Graham, do you, do you feel like you've been duped? Into doing because you, you're a natural ma marathon runner. You've got the physique for it. I mean, 42 oh, no, k's, no, buddy. I, I don't know about natural at six foot four and 120 kgs. So it's it's going to be interesting. I mean. Francois is a marketing genius, and that's the reason I'm sitting here. Um, no, it's, to be honest with you, um, you know, myself and Francois have engaged in a lot of various things and, and charity work, and he's, you know, produced a wonderful thing with the Mad Foundation, yeah. you know, and his education foundation is doing wonderful things. So to be associated yeah. with that, to try and raise some money for it and and help our country, especially on the education side, I think we, we're very blessed. I, I've got to do 42 k's to, to do it. <laughs> you keep saying which that, is what I'm dreading, but uh, you know, there's no better man to join join at the hip. Uh, no, I absolutely love it. You've got to try not to have an evil look and laugh about you when you look at him, man. This um, is going to be painful, man. <laughs> it's going to be tougher. They're talking about starting their training just about um, in a week's time, but the motivation is there. And you know, I joke about having a captain's breakfast, but um, corporates love a captain's breakfast, a captain's lunch. You guys are perfectly positioned to get the funds together. Two million, that's, that's quite an ask. How's it going? It's actually going very well. We've, uh, we've cheated a bit. My, my young son, Stefan, uh, did mad to row. So a week ago, he wanted to break the world record rowing on an ergometer for 24 hours. It was the most insane thing and the most disturbing thing I've ever witnessed, you know, watching your son go through pain. And he's had fantastic support. So he's sitting at about 1.4 million that he's oh, raised. Word. And we want to get another 600,000 in to hit that, that 2 million mark. Um, so he did mad to row. We made to run, and I just want to thank my captain. Yeah, he's just been. <laughs> listen, it wasn't easy, <laughs> but he's running. And then there, my other captain, John Smith, he's also coming to run. Um, this morning, I said to him, "We're on the show." He says, "I'm 123 kilograms. I'm undercooked." <laughs> So I think if we put the weight, um, but John has, he's done the epic, he's No done. one wants to be in front of us down the hill. So no. <laughs> down the hills we're good. Yeah. You ride that momentum, gents, you ride that. But of course, you're willing to put yourself through this for a very good cause. Why this cause? Why education? Maybe I can put it to both of you, Graham. Well, I, th I think in our country, it's probably one of the greatest challenges, you know. Yeah. Um, you know. I think if we can give people the opportunity you know, to forge careers, grow the education base, you know, give people the opportunity to earn livings, create dreams. You know, and I think Francois has done a wonderful job. He hasn't just picked kids of the streets. He's, 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 he's added so much value to their lives. And yeah. I think that's the thing. You know, we're trying to add value. We were blessed to be able to have a dream and, and, and achieve it yeah. in our lives. And if we can give that opportunity to a few other people, um, if it means, you know, doing these stupid things to raise a bit more <laughs> money, then, then so be it. You know? Yeah, it's, um, it's been going for 14 and a half, 15 years. When I came back from the UK, we started this, a bunch of friends saying that we want to make a difference, and leadership is going to be that. Yeah. So it's education and leadership. We need leaders in this country. We need young leaders that's going to change this country for the good forever. And that's what the foundation is all about. And it's a bunch of mates that do it. Um, and just people like, like Graham that put, put their hand up. I was just last week in, in the UK, and my friends in the UK, they're just so generous in terms of of wanting South Africa to succeed and understanding that leadership is going to be that key ingredient. Um, that's what we do to give back. Uh, then we've got our day jobs, um, and then uh, we run early in the mornings to train. Um, and you want, you want leaders who believe in themselves, youngsters who believe in themselves. And congrats on the, on the new coaching gig as well. I mean, you guys are busy enough. Who's, what's going to drag you across that finish line? Is it the kids? Is it the competitive spirit between each other? Well, I, mean, I, I know Frankie's very competitive. I played <laughs> golf with him. Um, but, no, I, I think obviously the cause, you know, that there's, there's, there's a reason why you're doing it. Um, I'm under no illusions that I'm going to suffer and, ex and uh, go through an extreme amount of pain and dark, dark phases. But, you know, I think the friendship, the camaraderie, running in a beautiful city, there's a lot of people that have put a huge amount of effort to, yeah. to perform well in this marathon. So I'm looking forward to, to joining in that. I'm sure there'll be a few trips on, on the run. But uh, I think it's mainly the cause. That's why we're here. Yeah. Yeah, three years ago when we um, uh, rejigged the marathon, I got involved with Ilana and Janet, the city of Cape Town, Western Province Athletics, and we said, why don't we build a, an international must-run marathon? And it's just been fantastic. You know that it's got gold status. Yeah. Last time I, I was here, I had my gold <laughs> shoes on. And we're going to have, over the course of that weekend, over 22,000 people 
run. Uh, either the mountain or the 10K or 10 and a half will be running the, the, the Sunlum Cape Town Marathon, which um, we think in time will become a must-run marathon. We've got people from, a, there's 75 countries coming to run already. We've got Americans that are coming in. And you'll just see, when they come to Cape Town, um, they, will, they will return and they'll bring their mates back. But we also want the, the, yeah. the, the, the return to be that people run for somebody else, run for a, a foundation or somebody in need. And that's what London is so yeah. amazing. You know, everybody in the London Marathon is running for somebody else. So we're going to be running for leadership and our kids, and, and that's why we can't quit. When you're running for somebody else, it makes it far more difficult to say, <laughs> I've had enough, it's man. It's for the kids, man. I've had it's enough, for man. The kids. So oh, we've got man. six and a half hours though, to do it. Oh, guys, you'll drag each other across. <laughs> but thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for everything that you've done. Mad to run. We're going to have all the details on all of our social media platforms as well. How you can go and support. Let's get them across that two million rand mark investing in future leaders here in South Africa. Oh, you can